folks, I'm Nathan with Two Guys in Riding. Today we're out here in beautiful Alexandria, Minnesota, and we're here at the Legacy of the Lakes Museum Classic Boat Show, and we're here with Tom and this beautiful 1960... Chris Craft. Chris Craft. 24-foot sportsman. <laughs> Wait, so Tom, you know, to start, to start off with, what got you into boating? Why, why buy, a lot of guys buy cars. Well... <clears throat> I've lived on the lake summers all my life. Okay. And uh, my dad always had boats, and I just love boats. Well, and, <laughs> and I love cars too, by the way. It, oh, it, it, yeah. <laughs> so um, when you when you found so this is uh, it, it, it's a 1960 Chris Craft. Well, what's the model number on it? It's a U24. It's a U24. Right. Okay. So. Approximately how long is the boat? Well, it, it's 24 feet. 24 feet by how much? How I many wide? It's an eight foot beam. Eight foot beam. Right. And you know, it never ceases to amaze me when you step into one of these boats how deep they are. Yes, and it gets deeper every year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know what you mean. Um, okay, so when you when you found the boat, was it in this shape? No, no, it was okay. no, nowhere near this shape. It, the the deck was all rotten. Um, somebody had literally painted it with brown house paint. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, could, you could put your fingers, you know, poke your fingers through the Right rock through it? Oh, my gosh. Uh, the windshield, the bottom of that was all rotted. Um, but the original hardware was still sitting on it, or is, was at least it, in know, the boat? All the hardware is original. Okay. And all of these, the inside here, what what's called ceiling boards, yep. those are all original. Okay. But uh, And this door is original here. But this was rotten. This had to go, and all of this up here, the whole deck was had, replaced. Had to be replaced. This, this is original, and this is original. The windshield is, except it's about that much shorter because we cut all the rot. Okay, so you didn't cut the, the glass, but you cut you no. cut the frame down. We cut the bottom of the frame. Yep. Yeah. Man, I I, I love that porthole on the front. Yeah, that's that's a great thing. I, I mean, it's the only one out here right. with with the porthole on the top. Now. Um, Speaking of your little cubby down here, what was this originally? It was a, uh, there was a head in there, a toilet. Okay, so Tom and I were talking a little bit earlier. To I'm going to let him tell you how the flush system worked. Well, it took the water out of the lake, went through the bowl, and then went through another pipe back into the lake. <laughs> right back. <laughs> So, <laughs> so it wasn't something I would want want to have. No. <laughs> no. So, so you took it out. It took it got taken out. All right. And I, I know you said your grandkids love crawling up in they, there. They love that. Yeah. All right. So, um, what what type of a motor does it have? Uh, it's a 283. Okay. Uh, Chevrolet motor. Okay. Um, 100, I mean, 185 horsepower. That's what I was going to ask. Yeah. 185 horsepower. So. Cruising tops, cruising speed. Not that you do that, but it would be about what? I cruise it around 20, 22 miles an hour. Okay. At, at that, it's running about 2,500 RPM. Okay. So the engine's just really not working hard. Hard. So and, top and speed. It, does, it doesn't use a terrible amount of gas if, really? if you run it's it. Really? It's pretty like fuel efficient. It, it's not bad. I mean, it's... Because these boats are heavy. I mean, they're not... Yeah, no, it's it's heavy. It's... Uh, so top speed would be probably around 30? Yeah, I, I can get it going 30, 32. Okay. You know. And so. you know, I absolutely love this top. Now, this is one of the things that you had redone. I had it built. Yeah. Was Tom, were Tom these Jewel pieces it. built for you too? Yes. Okay. Right. But uh, this, but this is the same design that would have come on the boat anyway. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. So yeah, I know you said you you length you changed some of the screw holes in the back for the yeah this, for the this, straps. This top is a little bit longer than the original, the original one would have been, and this unsnaps here so that you can open this up if you want to get more air coming through. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, Very nice. Now, does that actually have a windshield wiper? Yes, it does. I see that yeah. through the cloth, right. so it's just a hand-operated yeah, right. windshield wiper. Huh. It, it used to have an electric one, but these hand ones are a little more... I don't need an electric... Uh, right, yeah. No. It had a great big motor sticking on it. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't like okay, it. Okay, so you took that off. Took that off. All right, uh, did you refinish the, the vinyl on the inside? Uh, the engine cover is all redone. Okay. Uh, that's redone, um, and the front seats were redone. They kind of need it again, but okay, it's it's, it's okay. I mean, th this is not a showboat; it's a user boat. I it's mean, a we, user we boat. We use it a lot. Yeah. Well, see, I, I think that's great. I, th I think uh, anything with a motor is designed to be used. That's right. So you fix the, it up. Motors run working. better when you run them. Yes. Now, I just the the, the 
I just still can't get over all, you know. I mean, Sepia is so deep, it's so wide compared to modern boats. I mean, right. wow. So you have a little uh, step right over here on the right, side. Right. And then you've also got little, what I call bumper steps on, on the edge, right. but grips. Right. I've never seen a boat with a little step like that. Where, now, where did you find, was this on the boat when you got it? Well, or? it wasn't, it, but the hardware, uh, the hinges and all of the parts to it were under the, the floorboards. And I found them under there when I took- Oh, the, under here? Yeah, when I took the floor up, um, they were way back over under that the side where you'd never, where you'd <laughs> never, never see them. Up. Somebody had just thrown it under there and there there it was. Now, so what, I'm, I'm happy because yeah, those, well, yeah. I, 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 I can't get in a, out of the boat without that. Well, I just really like it. I don't know I, when I came yeah. on the boat, you know, Tom said, well, step on either way you right, want. And I'm right. like, I think I'm going to use the step. And it was just so easy. Yeah, so I can I can it, see that. It right. doesn't get any easier as you get older. No, it doesn't. One of these days, there's going to be a straight tumble right onto the padded right. engine cover. Right. Um, okay. So tell us about the instrumentation that you have. I mean, it's so car-like. In fact, you are suspicious that your steering wheel is out of a... A th Ford Thunderbird. A Thunderbird. And these are Borg Warner instruments. Okay. And they put those in uh, in Ford Motor mm -hmm. products. I actually had a 56 Ford convertible, and it had these exact same instruments in it. Really? Yeah. Same Interesting. Thing. Yeah. So you've got what? You've got oil pressure. You have got... Fuel, oil pressure, amps, temp, and then a... a Speedometer. A... Uh, uh, tachometer oh and you got an hour counter too yeah it counts the hours nice yeah. mm -hmm. then of course the buttons on the left are just for your lights and your bilge right. pump the bilge and... pumps and there's lights on the floor and there's there's a okay. light under the, ca the cuddy. okay forward and reverse is the big silver lever right here okay and then your throttles over on the right right and what, what's kind of nice about this is if you're coming to a dock yeah and you just push it like that a little bit you don't have to put it all the way into gear and it'll turn the prop just kind of real slow Oh really? Yeah, it, it, and the same with reverse. You don't have. So to, you have like a really slow reverse yeah, instead of, instead you, of actually having to kinda, engage it all the way. So when you come to a dock, you can just kind of reverse like that, and then the way the prop spins, it'll pull you right over to the dock. Sock. Yeah. Single prop, right? Single prop. Center mounted under the boat. Right. Right underneath. Those, those are some of the best turning boats I've seen with with that with those single props and, on and, the and center. And this one, somebody had built up the rudder. Oh really? The, the rudder used to be, you know kind of a small thing and okay. they've added they've added quite a, quite bit, a of bit rudder to it okay and i'm happy about that because it steers a little, little better yeah right, right. absolutely because these, these things won't steer if they're not in gear and going have some forward momentum right yeah because that you have you're, you're pushing the water against the uh the, yeah. the board yeah. as you turn yeah, yeah. I, I like your uh sort of uh seat seat pockets back here Got to have some blankets you on got, board. Oh, you absolutely. Know. Going out in the evening gets a little cool. <laughs> right. Is the floor here, is that made out of wood or is that a vinyl? What is uh, that? No, it, it's all uh, it's all marine uh, plywood. Okay. I'll... And, and the product on the top is called Nautilex. Okay. And it's it's a, it rolls up just, it's like a vinyl okay. sheet. And it comes in like eight foot wide okay. rolls. But I don't think you can buy it anymore. Oh. I don't think that it's available. I, that I've, that's huh. what I've heard. I'm, well, it, I'm hoping it, I'm hoping it never gets a rip or a tear in it because I really like it. I don't, it's really nice. Yeah, I I, I I do like it. I like all the the stripping, the uh, aluminum stripping is all original. Right. Yep. That's it's all original. I like and, that. And too. This boat has the original bottom on it, which is still the original bottom, despite the rotted top. It doesn't leak. No, and it doesn't leak. It does, well, that's it does, a good thing because you and I are sitting in the boat right. here, Tom. Well, when you first put it in the water, <laughs> when you yeah. put it in the water in the in this the spring i thought i was going to sink i was looking under here and i could actually see the water geysering up through some of these cracks yeah. so i made it home at top speed to get to my lift yeah and then within a couple days it all swells up and then it doesn't leak Seals. anymore yeah interesting you know huh now uh all the, all this glass on the side here is original that's as well all, that's all original the, the glass is all original this is all the hardware man came I, lo it. I love the big horn on the front and where, where's your control for the big light that's up there? Oh, this, that's right here. Oh! Handle. Well, that just swivels real easy, that, yeah, doesn't it? That, that's called an IVA light. A what? IVA. That's the that's the, uh, br the, the brand, the brand oh, IVA God. light. And they, IVA. you'll see them on, a, on some of the other boats here, I'm sure. Yeah, I, I have. I've yeah. seen them on a couple. I, I did not know they, the, the company that made they're, them. They're very handy. Uh, yeah, I bet at night. Yeah. What a big boat, man. Yeah, it's, it's a fun one. 
This, this is fun, and I bet your I bet your grandkids enjoy. Oh, they love it. Taking a cruise yeah, on they, this they, with a family they like to play under outing. There and they they can run around in here, and we don't have to worry about them oh, falling absolutely. out of it. Oh, absolutely no. no. They'd have to claw, crawl a ladder they, to get have, out of here. They'd, <laughs> they'd have to work at it. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know, Tom, thank you so much for sharing your your boat and your story with us. Thank you, Dave. Sure, it's appreciate been fun. it. It's been a lot of fun. Fun to meet you. Thank you. Fun to meet you too. Okay. Thanks for watching.